this uh, awesome audio, the new exhaust. Well, it's not really new, it's, uh, it's just I haven't done a good video to showcase the audio in my car. The natural songs. in your car and uh, it's pretty awesome because E85 allows you to really advance the timing and get a lot more power a ton more torque and it's generally awesome because it's it's affordable it's cheap it's not it's not as expensive as gasoline. I was just looking at it the other day. It was 267 a gallon. Uh, I'm happy when I hit 350 a gallon for 93. So I've got a kit on the way that will allow me to run E85 or e any mixture of ethanol. So half a tank E85, half a tank of 93. You know, whatever I want to run. So I'm really excited about that, and you know, E85 on the FRS and the BRZ is, is kind of a new uh, breakthrough. You know, it's, it's it's hasn't been around hasn't been around for a while. So I'm I'm kind of excited because I'll probably be one of the first I don't know maybe 10 cars that has the 85. <coughs> flex fuel that is. People have been running E85 on the FRS for a while, but only strictly E85. You could only run E85, and if you wanted to switch to 93, you had to flash to a different map. And so what makes what makes this flex fuel thing very awesome is that you can run a mixture and it adjusts on the fly. So, you know, you go to the track, you fill up with full E85, the computer does all the work and, and adjusts it. So you can have, you know, just a ton more torque as you see fit. <coughs> ah. It's a beautiful day today. I, I wanted to get out here and do my video log and just cruise around. and his BRZ 
TRC for a couple of months and other than cold starts being an issue where it just doesn't want to start in the morning because it's cold, um, you know, the power, I've driven his car, I've flogged his car, I've, I've really worked it over and the power is just amazing, it's, it's intoxicating how much more torque you get than the low end. And he's still got the stock header, so that goes to show, you know, how much E85, how much power it makes. And uh, I'm going to be really excited because I've got a full free-flowing exhaust. You know, I've got the Borla header, and uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how much power it, it, it produces. Um, and I'm trying to see if I can get some dyno time. And what I'd like to do ultimately is start off with 93 and slowly add E85. So start off with 93, maybe a half a tank, add a couple gallons of E85, do a dyno, add a couple more until the ethanol content gets high enough and, and see how much power you gain by bumping up the ethanol and advancing the timing. So it should be pretty interesting to see what power can be made with the flex fuel kit. I'll have links in the description as to you know my guide and um, what the kit looks like. My last video, you showed me putting E85 into a BRZ. That was my friend's BRZ. some more videos. I should be putting some more videos.